Uh, I'm Adrian, uh, you see me around a lot. I'm product manager of RSR. Generally, I'm back facing. I occasionally do some client stuff. Um, so, but I'm, I'm a talker, so I'm very happy to be up here talking. If I'm speaking too quickly, just shout. I'm English, so I'm used to uh, prattling on. So, uh, we've built uh, an RSR Android app application. So, uh, so, on the same basis, same framework as a Flow app. Um, currently it's on Android. Um, we'll be doing some analysis later down the line to see whether we will also develop a, an iPhone app. But for now, we have an Android app. This is the beta version. Um, it's not released yet, but we'll be uh, doing field tests this year. Um, on, it works on a very basic principle. We, looked, uh, we spoke to our partners and we asked them, what do you want out of an application? What do you want in the field? And people said, we want to provide updates. So updates to RSR text information, photo, location, quite simple. Um, in, in comparison to what we've been talking about earlier, it's a, it's a flow questionnaire with one question and just an open question. So simple uh, functionality, um, but yeah, we've got something. So I'm gonna take you through. Um, I've installed it on a tablet. It does also work on, oh, it's in my pocket. There we go, uh, so I've got an Android phone here as well, and I have exactly the same thing. Um, and of course, it doesn't work. And I need to use the microphone and hold things at the same time. But we have the same thing on here. So now I need a I need a headset microphone, really. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> uh, so, uh, so uh, you log in at the moment. You don't actually log in, so I can just push the sign in button. But obviously, when uh, when this is public, it'll be uh, full. Um, and we have a, a project list. This will be populated from the projects. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so there's a project list. This will be populated of all the projects that the user you've logged in as has access to. Um, so you refresh the list, and this is actually live uh, to one of our test systems at the moment. And of course, it's going to take a while, typically. Um, uh, I'm going to cancel that. So, you go through, choose the project you want. I'm going to choose this demo project because I've set it up. Um, so you can view all the existing updates. And, oh, gone too far. And these are all the updates that are currently existing and you can just add a new one. So I'm going to add one, and I'm going to call it ACVO Track Day. And in the description, I'm just going to say update, because we don't have a lot of time, and I'm not going to bother. Um, I have to be honest, the photo doesn't work on this one. You can take a photo, and it'll add, but that photo doesn't load. So I'm not going to add one now, but it yeah, when we launch this and when it's available, then you will be able to add a photo too. So uh, I'm going to save it. That way you can go back to your product project. And I've lost it. There we go. View all the updates. And you can see my draft project, uh, draft update is at the top. So you can go back, edit it. This time I'm going to send it. Now this is probably going to, oh, update sent already. So, see how simple that was? Obviously, I didn't type any writing, which is the, the difficulty. Um, so, I sent an update. I'm going to go, oh, no, it says unsynchronized. Oh, how do I synchronize? Let's see if this one works. So, obviously, live demos. This is, uh, <laughs> the trouble of these things. Um, so while this is loading, uh, our plan is to take this, um, polish it, obviously make sure all of this functionality is working correctly, um, and then we're going to pick some partners and actually do some field tests uh, out in the field. So go take some Android phones uh, to some of our partners who are already doing updates, give them these phones, see how they get on, and then work with that. So that will be version 0.9 probably that comes out. We'll go into the field, and then we're going to see what, what else we want to do. So our partners may say, 
actually, we want to be able to add uh, an update and store 10 updates at once before serving them. Well, if that's what gets requested, that's what we'll build. Um, at the moment, it's very much bare minimum product, and we'll, we'll see how it can be used. Blech. Of course, technical issues. So um, let's just go back here. Well, unfortunately, uh, the one that I did just now is saying unsynchronized, but this one, adding an update, was done earlier, and that one is shown here. So if I now go into Chrome, so this is, this is the view of our demo product. Oh, no, wrong one. So seven demo projects. I'm hoping the right one shows up. Uh, no. Wow, you're all being very patient. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try and get to the right thing. I need to filter this one. Um, in general, that's it. So you can add an update via an Android phone, and it will end up on your project on RSR. Um, the basic functionality, I guess now the best thing for me to do is questions, um, suggestions. Uh, does anybody want this? <laughs> uh, do we have another microphone? Oh, yeah. OK. Uh, I have uh, contact with a lot of NGOs uh, that uh, I'm hoping they will update their projects using RSR a couple times a year. Uh, is there a way for ACFO to uh, do some tracking, some sort of ex exception reporting, some sort of automatic prompt to remind the uh, slow reporters, uh, hey, it's uh, it's been six months since you told anything, uh, you know. Give us an update. Give us an update, please. Even uh, yeah, so uh, later this year, we're hoping to implement something we've called notification, uh, yeah, action-based notifications. And that will stem from, there's been a new donation on a project that you've donated to, there's an update on a project you've donated to, or, um, yeah, updates on your project, so project content have been changed by one of your colleagues, that kind of thing. Um, that will come this year. I don't think it's going to be related directly to this application, um, but we, we might be able to, to look at whether actually, if we've got these applications out there, you might be able to send a message directly to the app to say, you know, come and give, give me an update in the app itself. And in the instances when the the person I'm holding responsible is not the field implementing partner with the doing the update. Is there a solution for that? If I give you an example, uh, Aqua for All has, has uh, projects that uh, on uh, Walking for Water, that's, that's uh, my, uh, my site, our site, and uh, perhaps there's a, there's a contract partner with, uh, with Aqua for All uh, that is not the one who's ultimately needing to supply an update. And but so I've got a chain of, chain of responsibility to communicate with. Yeah, I mean, the, the idea would be, I'm assuming that all these field partners will be registered in RSR, um, so that actually the notification should be able to be pushed to the end user that you need to. Um, and in project setup, as you're probably all aware, there's multiple organizations. Generally, one organization is responsible. So, so they'd be the ones to actually say, well, this is the message we want to send, and we're going to send it to all of these people being the field partners. But that's kind of the functionality, and this is the gap we want to fill. Yeah. Hi. Uh, sorry, fully. Oh. Is this working? It, it is. 
Um, oh, okay, sorry. Um, Folio High from uh, tra Transparent Aid. Um, sorry, I came late, so I might have missed um, something, and also I've got really bad flu. So, um, no excuse my, <laughs> my voice. Um, does your system allow SMS uh, reporting? Um, it doesn't, uh, unfortunately. We, we looked into building some SMS functionality last year, um, and what we, uh, what we found is that um, we can get SMS working in a local area for one country, but you need a local service provider. So, for example, we could do uh, Kenya, we have a base in Kenya, um, that would be something we, that is achievable, but to be, able, to be able to really provide value to our partners, they want to be able to use SMS everywhere, which is a hugely complicated uh, system. Um, our best effort or best solution to this we see at the moment, if we want to and if there is a bigger demand for it, actually we will look at working with our partners in this building, Text the Change. They already do huge amounts of uh, SMS-based uh, marketing and, and surveys, and actually it wouldn't make sense for us to try and yeah. rebuild these things and we'd partner with them. Um, but the, yeah, the SMS side of things is, is actually already out of date. Um, and what we're finding is even in kind of, uh, yeah, uh, Africa and in developing countries, they're kind of skipping some of the steps that we took in terms of technology. And so the smartphone or an Android phone is, is actually uh, almost as common as a, as a normal phone. I mean, that's an exaggeration. Um, it's more kind of within the, the frameworks and the partners we're using, um, Android phones are becoming accessible. Um, so it's do we focus energy on and resources on something that could die out, um, SMS, or do we try and partner with somebody who's already doing it and we can focus on things like Android where you know, we, we see a lot, a lot longer term benefit? Uh, I, I, I disagree with you about SMS. Um, uh, we're, we're working on a project in, in northern Nigeria, in Sokoto, um, and it's to do with mediation. So we're working with an NGO, and they've trained about 400 women as, as peace mediators. And um, they're Muslims, so the problem is they have difficulty communicating, communicating amongst themselves without their husbands finding out. And also, they need to be early responders. Um, Android smartphones, forget about it. SMS is still the main way to communicate up there, and everyone has a phone. And we've, we've tried a lot of mobile tools. We tried Java-based, simple phones, and that didn't really work because syncing was a problem. Um, we looked at Android, but that was, was a non-starter. Uh, we're using a, a commercial application from a, an organization called Data Winners. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you've heard of them. And they do SMS-based reporting. And they offer, um, I mean, it's, it's expensive. That's the problem for us. It's about uh, $250 a month that we pay. But for that, you get a local number, and then you can essentially uh, report based on that. Yeah. But SMS is still the number one way to communicate for most, most grassroots people in, in the field. Uh, I mean, I, I, I guess I should reframe that from my point of view, which is ACVO and RSR is a B2B product. Yeah. We, we have very little interaction with end users, meaning consumers on the ground, people like wives. So we, we work with field partners and people... <laughs> Sorry, it's half... Yeah, bad English. <laughs> but it's... <laughs> It's, it's, yeah, it's our, from, from ACVO's point of view, yeah. SMS is, is, a, is not so useful because it's a high volume, high reach product, yeah. and we, we much more need a more targeted individual. So, yeah. I mean, if we reach the point where we have hundreds of thousands of people updating projects every day, SMS being a short, short way <coughs> of adding to projects is great. Updates at the moment tend to be Every few months, uh, singular people from within these organisations who have been chosen specifically to write these updates. So it's very, it's a lot easier for us to target and say a mo uh, Android app where you can also add a photo and a geolocation. This has a huge value. Um, yeah, uh, I agree. So I, I mean, I would, I would definitely partner with Text for Change if you can and, and add this as a channel because it's so important. And you know, just things like project communication, the simple SMS, you know, town hall meetings, all that kind of stuff. Without that, it's 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 of limited value to a lot of, of the stuff that, that NGOs do in, in Nigeria, for example, and a lot of a lot of countries. And I know your resources are limited, and you've got to focus on you know stuff going forwards. 
but it will make sense if you, if you can find a partner who can do it. Um, if you to offer that as a service, it would be a massive benefit to, to your clients. Yeah, maybe to answer a little bit uh, from my perspective, that's okay, Adrian. So you're absolutely right. I mean, that's what we love to do. Um, that is what we we love to do. And I think the, the project we presented this morning is exactly that, right? So Tax Change has an SMS service where you can do end-to-end -end type of, uh, you know, feedback. And RSR is much more storytelling for partners, you know, in, in the development sector in a way to do communication. And these are just services. So you can overlay them and integrate and everything. And that's really what we're working towards doing. What we don't want to do uh, from an ACFO perspective is develop an SMS component, uh, making deals with phone providers while they have been doing that for six or seven years. You know what I mean? So that's why we need to balance. So sometimes we say, hey, let, you know, this an area, particularly this one, from an ACFO perspective, we think that's that's a partner. You know, team up with Ushaidi, Text Exchange, others that do that and do that well and integrate. And the area that uh, Adrian is talking about is, is improving uh, the extension of what we're delivering and making it, uh, you know, reach faster, further, and thinking ahead. Because obviously smartphones will increase rapidly. So we're also thinking, you know, beyond uh, years. Because even when I was in Nepal, I asked the question, how many people have a smartphone in a village community, very poor, and you would be surprised. And if there are four or five that have a smartphone or three, those are the type of people that can still use these type of tools. So it's also finding the right people. But for the type of things like end user thing, you're absolutely right. That's SMS is a very powerful thing. And we have a good partner here. So in the corner of the building, thanks. <laughs> There as well, but <laughs> okay. Well, uh, yeah, I, I guess. Well, when we're out of time, so you're just gonna have to trust me. But here, twenty <laughs> third of May. That's today. I've just done this update. <laughs> it's not loading, so I can't show you. <laughs> <laughs> um, as soon as we've got a uh, full working version, we'll uh, write a blog about it, probably do a video tutorial through and seal the screen. So you'll hear more, it's the first glimpse, more to come. <laughs>